Hello, boys and girls. We got another great insect book called the Cicada. Um, do you guys know anything about cicadas? Well, last summer was a big summer for cicadas. I mean, they were out in full force. Um, you might not recognize the, what cicadas look like, but you definitely recognize the sound that they make. It's, you know, it's a hot summer day, you're outside, and it's making a really, really loud noise. And um, <clears throat> we're going to find out why they do that today. All right, the cicada. All right, cicadas have thick bodies. And look at them. Looks like a tank with wings, right? <laughs> that thing is little monsters. Cicadas are thick insects that grow up to three inches, 7.6 centimeters long. Their large wings are often clear with dark veins. Their size might make them look scary, but these insects cannot sting and are not poisonous. Okay, cicadas actually have five eyes. The three smaller eyes form a triangle between the two larger ones. The little ones are called achele. That means little eyes in Latin. Female cicadas are laying their eggs <clears throat> inside this tree branch. A female cicada lays her eggs in the thin branch of trees. First, she cuts tiny slits in the branch. Then she deposits her eggs with a special organ called an ovipositor. A few weeks later, nymphs hatch and drop to the ground. Have you heard of the word nymphs before? Maybe in a different insect's uh, life cycle, a nymph? Okay, a butterfly, right? A few weeks later, nymphs hatch and drop to the ground. The nymphs are the size of ants. The nymphs dig between one and three feet into the ground. Wow, that's pretty far for a little insect. They said the size of an ant. These holes are from cicadas digging themselves out of the ground. Wow. So if you see, you know, holes like that on your yard, that could be a cicada digging its way out of the ground. The nymphs search for a tree root. Their straw-like mouth parts are perfect for piercing and sucking up sap from the root. They begin to grow. They spend most of their lives hidden underground. Some will not see daylight for many years. Many years. Different types of cicadas spend different amounts of time underground. Some are there for only two years. Some are there much longer. Can you guess why? Why do you think they spend a longer period underground? Right, let's find out. The cicada leaves behind its smaller skin as it grows. And you can see this, boys and girls, on the branch. The green one is the cicada. The brown one is the old skin. You might have seen this on like a tree in the summertime. And if you ever touch it, it's just a shell. There's nothing in it. Um, that's what happens when it molts. Right. When it's time, cicadas dig to the surface and climb the nearest tree. It is usually the same tree they've been feasting on for years. Then they go through their final molt, growing out of their older, smaller skin. They leave their old skin behind on the tree. <clears throat> this cicada belongs to a 2008 brood in North Carolina. Brood, okay. That's uh, the word we can use for a large group of cicadas is a brood. Most cicadas live between two and five years. Some live much longer. They tend to come out of the ground in large groups called broods. Some broods remain buried up to 13 years. 13 years! That is a teenager. Other broods emerge after 17 years. 17 years for an insect? It is a mystery how cicadas know it is time to come out of the ground. How do they know? These exoskeletons have been left on a tree trunk. And that's really, it's just a shell, exoskeleton. Um, heading, is that a skeleton? Have you ever seen a six-legged shell on the side of a tree? If so, it's probably the shell of an exoskeleton of a cicada. Say cicada. 
When it emerged, it slowly unfolded its wings and stretched out its abdomen. Male cicadas make noise to attract females. Huh. The male cicada is one of the loudest insects on Earth. Yes, you can hear it in the summertime, as I was telling you earlier. He can be as loud as a lawnmower. His noisemaker, called a timbal, is part of his body. He forces it back and forth so fast it sounds like a hum. If it were slower, it would sound like clicks. The humming sound attracts females. Cicadas find their mates by making noise. The female responds to the male with single clicks. The sound, it sounds exactly like finger snapping. Can you do this, boys and girls? Can I snap? It sounds exactly like finger snapping. If you want to get a cicada to notice you, don't whistle. Simply snap your fingers. There's a good chance the male will come towards your hand. He will think it is a female. Oh, that's an experiment we can do this summer. If you hear a cicada, start snapping your noise. Start snapping your fingers, making some noise. When the cicada comes, you can catch it in your hand. Remember, they're not poisonous and they don't sting. So I can catch a cicada. Think, what do you think would be the advantage to being the loudest cricket or the loudest cicada in the area? So what do you think would be the loudest... What do you think would be the advantage to being the loudest cicada in the area? Yep, yeah, getting more friends, right? Ooh, this Samara cicada lives in the Amazon rainforest. That is beautiful. Look at the designs of it. The blue and the black just complement each other. Not music to my ears. Imagine a cicada brood emerging from the ground at the same time in a small area. The males all starting... The males will start singing to attract females. It gets pretty loud. For this reason, male cicada singing has been called one of the most annoying sounds on earth. It's a little harsh. All right. Most people who have heard cicadas never forget the sound. Ask a parent or a grandparent if they remember hearing broods of cicadas. Ask them to describe the sound to you. All right. Something you can ask your parents about. As I said, last summer was a big summer for cicadas. They were all over my yard. All right, boys and girls, hope you enjoyed the cicada. I'll see you soon.